In this video, I want to show you guys this awesome little chainsaw sharpener that I got at Harbor Freight up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of do-it-yourself projects and tutorials, so please consider subscribing. Today I want to show you guys a quick and easy way to get your chainsaw sharpened and it is with this Chicago Electric Power Tools chainsaw sharpener and uh, it's got a grinding wheel on it and very easy to use. It has sped up the amount of time it takes me to uh, sharpen my chainsaw blade and I want to give you guys a closer look. So I'm going to be using my chainsaw sharpener today to sharpen the chain on my Ego 10 inch pole saw which is a uh, lithium ion battery pole saw that works with a, a multi-tool system and I've done a review video on this. If you're looking for an alternative to gas powered chainsaws even for just kind of smaller twigs and logs and stuff this is definitely a very cool product to check out. I'll leave a link down in the description and at the end of this video as well. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of how this tool works. Um, essentially you're going to put the chain in this area here and I'll show you that in a minute and then you're going to bring this grinding wheel down on top of each one of those blades in the chain to sharpen it. So before you start using this tool, I know when I got it I had to put together a couple of pieces here and that just took me two or three minutes. Once you have the thing assembled, you're going to want to mount it to some sort of surface. Um, I found a spare piece of plywood that I had and uh, I had some bolts and nuts and I drilled holes into this plywood to secure this to it and this plywood is just sitting on a small table that I have but by securing this down this isn't going to move or go anywhere while I'm trying to use it. So a quick tip I want to give you when you are mounting this to some sort of surface is you're going to need this area here to hang off and this is where the chain is going to hang down but there's also a tightening wheel underneath that allows you to pivot this when you are cutting at different angles and the first time that I screwed this down to this plywood I didn't leave enough room and I was running into this tightening knob down here so I actually had to re-drill holes so just make sure that you are leaving enough room for this whole edge to hang off of whatever surface you are going to be mounting to. And real quick in all of our videos on this channel we hide Tinker. He's our little hidden robot who's going to briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him be sure to note the timestamp in the video of where you saw him. Let me know that timestamp down in the comment section below with your best comment to have your name as well as your YouTube channel if you have one featured on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page. So let's start off with our chain. We've got our blades that are on the top and teeth that are going to be on the bottom and these teeth sit very nicely on top of this vise. There's a groove. You're going to want to put these teeth so that they seed nicely inside that groove. And we're going to pick up this flap right here. This flap is your chain stop. That's going to sit right on top of your chain. So you want your chain to move freely as you can see here and you can actually maneuver the chain by using these knobs that are on either side. So the actual part of the chainsaw we're going to be sharpening is this angled part right here and every other blade goes the same way and then the ones in between go the opposite direction. So it is important for you to figure out what angle your chainsaw blades are cutting at. These are cutting at 30 degrees, um, but it may not be the same for your chainsaw. Easiest is to probably check your chainsaw manual and see what your chainsaw blades angle is. Or you could probably jump online, go to Google and type in the model of your chainsaw and find out the angle of your chainsaw chain blades and then you're going to want to set the vice angle that's at the bottom here. So the piece of this tool that's hanging off the table is the tightening knob and the vice that you see right here and I am going to loosen this vice and this gives me the option here to set it to whatever angle I want. We're going to set it to that 30 degrees and then I am going to tighten that knob at the bottom so that this stays at that 30 degree cutting angle. So with my chain in place, I'm going to use these knobs so that I butt the end of the chainsaw blade up against this chain stop and that is getting this particular blade ready to be sharpened. 
I'm going to take the handle here with the grinding wheel and that's going to come down and just nudge the edge of that blade. Now there's a couple of things, a couple of settings that you're going to want to set. So with your chain in place and set to the correct angle, as you bring your grinding wheel down, this grinding wheel is going to graze the bottom portion of that angle of the chain that you're trying to sharpen right here. And if you are noticing that this wheel is not hitting in the correct spot, you can use this chain stop adjustment knob here and if you turn it one way it's going to move the chain in one direction so it would get a little bit closer and I can try again here and see that now that is too far my grinding wheel would be hitting the top of it or I can again move this back and then just turn this wheel here and that is going to bring my chain back a little bit you adjust that knob until you get this grinding wheel right in the right spot. Now I'm not even touching the blade at this point, so I will need to bring it forward again just a little bit. You just want the edge of that grinding wheel to be touching or grazing the angle of your blade. So the next adjustment you're going to make is with your depth stop screw right here, and by turning this, that is going to adjust the height of this depth stop. This is going to hit this plastic piece right here, but as you are bringing your grinding wheel down, this is going to control how far down you can actually bring your grinding wheel. When I am adjusting that depth wheel, you'll notice as the grinding wheel is coming down here, I want it to stop right as it's grazing the edge of this blade. I don't want it going down too far or it's actually going to start cutting into the chain itself. So I want to make sure that when I am adjusting the depth that I am adjusting it so that it stops at the right spot. So the last adjustment you're going to want to make sure is snug is you've got this clamp lock nut right here and when I'm pushing the handle that's at the top of this tool that is actually clamping tight onto my chain so that when I am sharpening this chain isn't going to move or go anywhere. Make sure that you have this tightened so that when you are pulling on the handle up top, this is making a snug connection to hold your chain in place. So with your chain set up and ready to go, you're going to squeeze the trigger or the handle on here and come down and you are going to go ahead and sharpen that blade. Then you can use these knobs here to just move. You're going to skip this next one because the angle is the other way and go to your next blade here. Make sure that that is set up ready to go, bumped up against there. Go ahead and lock your trigger and go down, sharpen that one, and continue sharpening until you're all the way through. Now I would recommend that you get yourself a bright colored Sharpie marker or something, and you can actually color the first blade that you are gonna be sharpening, and then that way when it comes around again, you'll have an easy way of knowing where you started with sharpening. You can kind of tell because they're going to be a little bit shinier after you sharpen them, but just marking it real quickly makes things a lot quicker and a lot more blatant. That's where you start it. So I am throwing my safety glasses on and let's throw our power on and start sharpening. And when you are sharpening the blades, you don't have to spend a lot of time. You just need to go over it enough so that you're going to see some sparks and you're going to feel it grinding up against the blade. So you can do it once or twice and then go to your next blade. and I'm going to continue just going through the entire chain. So once I'm done sharpening all the blades going in this direction, I'm going to loosen this tightening knob and put it to the 30 degrees going the opposite direction, making sure that's lined right up at the 30 degrees. And then I'm going to check how this wheel seems to be lining up. It looks to be pretty good. So we're going to start it up and do the, and do the other ones. And so now I have completely sharpened the chain using this tool and it's been much quicker than using a hand file. It probably took me two minutes to do this entire chain. So overall, I think this is a great tool at a great price point. It has helped make sharpening my chainsaws a lot quicker and easier. 
and I think it's very easy to use. I picked up learning how to use this tool very quickly. Hopefully I was able to teach you something in this video on how to use this. Um, if you learned something or if you found this video useful, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed here, take one second, hit that subscribe button as well as click that little notification bell. You'll get notified as I release new videos weekly here on this channel. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. But I've got all these sharpened chainsaws. i got to get out and cut some stuff down. We'll see ya.